sea urchins. Hundreds of them everywhere. As far as the diver's eye can see. Where is this carpet of green? Not as far as you think. It's here in the water just below the Ocean Science Center in Logie Bay. How do these sea urchins interact with sea cucumbers and sea stars? Are there new species here we know nothing about? Just some of the unknowns these divers plunge into as they get up close and personal with the rocky reefs of Newfoundland and Labrador. These marine scientists are documenting life on the bottom, a part of the ocean ecosystem we know surprisingly little about. This reef life survey started 10 years ago in Australia. Since then, hundreds of divers have counted thousands of species on reefs all over the world. Marine scientist Rick Stewart-Smith and another colleague led the study in Australia. So we're actually trying to document the numbers, the sizes, all of the species that are found uh, around the, the reefs. So uh, fish is, is obviously a key key things so we record all the fish species that are found and that includes a lot of species that people might not know about or or necessarily care about they don't understand where they fit into the system collecting data on canadian reefs is just starting canadian findings will be added to a growing global database on reef life it's a project that's taken stuart smith underwater all over the world everywhere from the, the coral reefs in the Coral Triangle in Indonesia where the highest fish species richness is found. This is the coldest for me, so um, uh, th this is lovely, but uh, previously I've, I've been in northern, northeastern US and, and California and Caribbean, um, Mediterranean, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Central America. Brittany Conradi is a PhD student at Memorial University. She explains how divers gather and record what they see down deep. So we lay out a big survey tape that's about 50 meters long. Um, we have two divers um, each on either side of the survey tape. We swim along and we record all of the fish that we see within a five meter box around that tape. And then we come back and we survey all of the invertebrates, so all the urchins, the sea stars, all of those little guys that we see down there. And then uh, we compare our numbers. You gotta have a quick eye, I'd imagine, to count these fish <laughs> that are gonna be in that uh, area. Yeah, it's, it's tough training, for sure. You have to train your eye for it, for sure. So if you're not used to looking into all those little cracks and crevices for the little fish eyes sticking out, it's, it's difficult, but uh, we're, we're learning, it's a lot of fun. One of the things these researchers will be looking at, you know, how, how the reefs are, are handling uh, the, the various pressures. And uh, I think you know, warming is going to be a critical one of them and how they're going to be changing quite a lot. And so it's really important to document things now in a consistent way so that as things change, we, can, we have a benchmark. And also with, with other sorts of impacts, pollution and things like that. So uh, it's important to document all this now so we can see what, what changes. After about 40 minutes surveying the reefs in front of the Ocean Science Centre in Logie Bay, <laughs> the divers emerge with colourful stories to tell. Three species of different sea stars, all different colors, some sea cucumbers, uh, lots of anemones, some little sponges and things like that. It was really good. I wasn't prepared for the number of sea urchins. There's a lot of sea urchins. That was lovely. Um, a lot of sculpins, but some of them quite big. There's a beautiful wall just down on the edge there that has uh, uh, anemones and um, ascidians and things. It's, it's quite pretty, so it's a lo yeah, lovely spot. It's actually been much clearer water than I expected. It's, it's cold, it's very chilly, but it's, it's beautiful, clear water. There'll be even chillier days ahead for these reef researchers. We've got our nice warm suits, so we're prepared for pretty much anything. Um, it'd be nice to get a chance to dive in some snow. That's a different thing for all of us. So um, hopefully we're going year round, except for the little bit of chunk of time where there's ice on the water. So this is just the beginning of the Canadian Reef Life Survey here in this province. Researchers at the Ocean Sciences Centre have funding for the next 10 years for this work. They'll be circumnavigating the island of Newfoundland and diving in parts of Labrador to try and piece together the picture of underwater reef life. 
Jane 80, CBC News, Logie Bay.